In this week's Beyond the Ballot Report, we're looking at one of the lesser known races. The Public Service Commission plays a powerful role in our lives, regulating everything from energy rates to moving companies. Take a look at what you need to know before casting your ballot. From the water we drink coming from non-municipal water treatment systems and some privately owned, the PSC regulates water quality. For many people, the PSC is known by the flip of a switch. It regulates our utility rates. And those extra fees that you find on your utility bill, utility companies have to answer to the PSC for charges like this one. Cost to rebuild infrastructure and equipment damaged by severe storms and weather events. The Louisiana Public Service Commission keeps a watchful eye on a lot of consumer concerns. Its origin started as a regulatory body to monitor monopolies. The commission really got its start as the Railroad Commission in the early 1900s. Um, and in the Constitution of 1921, when they amended it, they changed um, from the Railroad Commission to the Public Service Commission uh, and that took on just the same idea that we were when we were regulating monopoly owned railroads. Um, that's the same way that it came when utilities were coming on board and the investments were being made. Uh, and so the commission over time has picked up jurisdiction. Our utility regulation has always stayed. Five members serve on the Public Service Commission, each elected for a six year term. The District 2 seat on the PSE is up for vote in the November 5th primary election. Two Republicans and a Democrat are vying for the open seat vacated by Dr. Craig Green, a Republican from Baton Rouge who is not seeking re-election. We can serve three consecutive terms before we have to sit out a term, in, a term before we run again. Um, but we are also staggered terms to ensure that a majority of the commission never changes in one election. Uh, so this year, there's only one seat up. Uh, next year, uh, in 2026, we'll have two seats up. PSC commissioners have a broad range of responsibilities, some that fly under the radar, such as regulating older broadband lines and prison phone call fees. So that rate that you pay uh, when you're getting a call from someone who may be incarcerated is also at the jurisdiction of the PSE. So we touch a wide swath of things that really matter to people's lives. Planning a move? Need to call a moving company? The PSC regulates those as well. They're called common carriers. We actually play all three roles of government. We operate as, as lawmakers by making policies regarding rates, regarding services, um, and the electric and the utility business and water, uh, as well as uh, moving trucks and tow companies. We're also a judicial body. We are reviewing to ensure that the law is being interpreted and that uh, they are following those orders that we have uh, issued. But we're also executors to make sure that once we say, hey, you uh, utility must do X, Y, and Z, or you can't do X, Y, and Z, that they actually do so. Which brings me to my next question. Outline what the most pressing issues are that the PSC is dealing with. I think it's going to be our grid and, and reliability on the electric side. Our grid in Louisiana is ranked 48th in the nation. Uh, we have more power outages in Louisiana than any other place in the nation. We're not talking about power outages caused by weather storms. We're talking about what we would call a fair day power outage. Um, and so our biggest challenge, I think, over the next five years is how do we build a grid that can sustain our changing weather environments, also provides the reliability that people need. So when you come home, when you open your business, your lights come on. But then also, how do we do that in a way that keeps your rates affordable? With challenges come opportunities, including the evolution of alternative energy sources beyond natural gas and coal, such as hydrogen, wind, and solar. As these renewable energies evolve, the PSC will play a regulatory role. I would tell voters really pay attention because when you think about the things you care about the most are the things you really need to survive. Heating, cooling, cooking, uh, water, uh, they're all at the hands solely of the Public Service Commission. Not your mayor, not your legislature, not the governor, not the president, 
but the Public Service Commission. So when you when you turn that light switch on, um, when you get home, it's our decision. So you should think very wisely about who you put in those roles.